Welcome to Escape This Podcast, a show that's a mix between tabletop role-playing and escape room puzzles. This is the 10th episode of the season, which means I think we're getting near the end of the season, right? I think it's meant to be 11 for this season. I haven't really done the count, but we're getting close to the end of the season, uh, and we have, for this episode, another guest game master We're getting room. through them at long last. Every episode we play through an audio escape room, sometimes us, sometimes guests, depending on who wrote it. Uh, and this episode, we do have a guest writer in the form of Das. Welcome to the show, Das. Thank you. Good to be here. So we don't know much about this room, and I think Danny knows even less than I do. I got nothing written on my page yet. Do we have any, uh, do you have like, before we get into it, before, just as a little little taste for the audience, do you have like a teaser for what the room is before we get going? This is... The third installment of Alex's bathroom. <laughs> Which is odd, because we didn't write the second one. So this is like a sequel to someone else's sequel to something that we wrote. This is spawning a fan universe. This is it's a lot of bathrooms, or a and, lot of Alex's at least. And the real worry is, we have not uh, done much in either of the first two Alex's bathrooms ourselves in quite some time. Oh, yeah. So This is the big risk, is it's going to be like, and then you see this thing, and we'll go... Yeah, what does that mean? You're like, no, it's... Don't you remember? Don't you remember? And we're like, oh, I'm so sorry. We don't remember. It's been so many years. But we'll find out. As all good escape rooms are, outside knowledge is not required. <laughs> Perfect. The other, actually, the other risk, not the other risk, but the other thing that'll be interesting to see is, I'm, I, we'll, we, we'll see how much of it is an Alex and how much of it is a bathroom. Because, Danny, you've got a room coming up after this for our final episode of the season, which is a bathroom this room. This is true. I have also gone back to bathroom. It's a very bathroom-centric end to the oh, season. Boy. <laughs> we'll see how it all shakes out. Mm -hmm. I think it'll all be great. Everyone, in years from now, people are like, oh, remember the bathrooms at the end of season The bathroom 14? saga. It was amazing. Um, we did like three pirate ships in a row on exactly, stage. Exactly, and everybody loved it. They were all different from each other. Uh, well, we also, Das, have questions that we ask at the start of every episode. The first one being, this is an escape room podcast. What's your escape room experience? I've done 11 escape rooms up to this point, which nice. coincidentally is approximately the number of play tests I've done on this room at this point. <laughs> oh, so you've done just this room and nothing else ever in your <laughs> life. That's what I'm understanding from those numbers. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. 11 physical escape rooms is a good number. I feel like you'll, people, like, the fact that there are people out there who've played, like, 300 sometimes skews, I think, people's perception of how many is, like, experienced for mm. escape rooms. Like, well, Whereas when you still go to a physical escape room, if they ask you how many rooms have you like, done. near the top box. Yeah. They'll be like, one, yeah, two to five. Yeah, I'm well past the top box. <laughs> right? So it's an interesting thing, escape rooms. Then, But then the other element, now, okay, we've ticked off escape rooms. You're in the top box of escape rooms. I'll put a little, I'll put a little tick in my... Uh, in my, our form. My, that my we close keep. to a dozen form. That's the top box is close to a dozen. Um... <laughs> This is also a tabletop role-playing style of escape rooms. So do you have any tabletop role-playing experience? In terms of regular-ish tabletop role-playing games, like I've never played D&D. &D. Um, the only time that I've done a semi-normative tabletop role-playing game is when I was GMing Gateways for someone. Oh, oh nice um... Gateways. Oh, what a good game. <laughs> what a good game that is. I wonder who made it. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Um, Back in uh, high school, I was in the drama club, so did a bit of acting. <laughs> ah, nice. Lovely. Honestly, the acting part isn't the big part. I don't know what it is about this show that makes me be like, we have to talk about tabletop role-playing experience. It is in the structure. But would you call it an acting thing? Or would you call it oh, just I, like a... I don't feel like I am acting because to me, I very distinctly separate acting and improvising mm. as to one I can do, one I can't do. I almost think... And sadly... I don't separate those uh, <laughs> because when something goes wrong on stage, like who's ever controlling the lights turns them out on you when they weren't supposed to, you call out the elephant in the room, just making up something to make it make sense. The audience oh. gets a chuckle and then you move on. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't do that part. <laughs> But I, I almost wonder if, like, the real thing is, like, this is an escape room show done in audio. What's your experience creating a visual of a room in your brain while someone describes it to you? Oh, how, Which fan is sort of how fantasious are you? Yeah. How good are you at theatre of the mind? Ugh. But then again, we've had some fantastic guests whose answer would be, I 
can't picture anything in my head. Yeah. Shut up and how dare you attack my disability. Mm-hmm. So you never know. I don't think aphantasia is a disability. Maybe it is. Right. Well, I think we are ready to get into this room. We have been told it's possible that if we mess around too much, this could end up being a long room. So we have to be, we're no nonsense today. Yeah, we're, this is, you ready for this? We're locking in. We're the we're serious getting, players. We're solving every puzzle. I do puzzle. think I was oversetting no, going, your expectations going, no, 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 based no, no, on my no, no, play no. testers. I think you are, uh, you are overestimating our speed based on listening to our show. I think you are the one who'll find out, oh, these guys take a long time to do everything. Do they spend 20 minutes looking at a single drawer and doing a whole bit? About, like, the captain of drawers, a character they invented? Is this actually for fun or is it to cover up that they don't know what the puzzle is yet? Are we talking about this? Why are we talking about the Spanish main? Listen to us. (laughs) What's going on? So we're going to, but none of that's going to happen. Not all you people now who are clamoring for a guest appearance by Captain Drawers, the pirate on the Spanish main who is a chest of drawers. He's not going to appear in this episode because we're going to focus in and go quickly. That's the that's the goal. Our recording has been going for seven minutes, but and even with that, we have been talking and setting up and chatting and everything beforehand for twenty three minutes. We haven't. It's been half an hour, and we haven't even started the room. So we're gonna go quick. This is everyone's gonna. People are gonna say in ten years' time. Remember that great bathroom saga at the end of season fourteen? Oh, how crazy! And also, remember how quick they were? Remember how on the ball they were for one of those escape rooms? I don't think they mentioned that guy made out of a chest of drawers once. I've written the words bathroom saga. I'm ready. All right. Well, with that all being said, uh, Das, would you like to take us away into a world of fantasy and adventure? (laughs) Well, if you consider a bathroom fantasy and adventure, sure. I do. Your friends and family say you've been acting strangely as of late. They aren't wrong. Something has been eating away at your mind. Or more precisely, someone. Alex. Ever since your ordeal, no, ordeals, there's been one thing on your mind. Revenge. (laughs) You stopped going to the bar you met Alex at, and were at a speakeasy-style place where you met a rather dapper man named Jimmy. Turns out, you both had run-ins with Alex. Alex stole one of Jimmy's roosters. Oh no. Soon enough, Jimmy converted the bathroom in one of his spare apartments for you. Jimmy was more than glad to do the grunt work if you could get payback with Alex. You're glad that Jimmy offered up his apartment. This way, Alex won't learn your real address. Jimmy handed you the keys and said when the bathroom door shuts, it will lock automatically and the first challenge will be triggered. He continued on a bit about how the room will work, but you cut him short. You'd rather get to watch Alex live on the camera Jimmy installed seeing who can figure out the puzzles first. But without your skin on the line, only Alex's. After Jimmy left, you climbed up the stepladder Jimmy conveniently left behind, adjusting the camera on the ceiling, trying to get the perfect angle to observe Alex's downfall. For all this expense, you wonder why Jimmy couldn't provide a remote control camera, but oh well. While you're on the ladder, you get a call from your mom. Here we go again. She's concerned and trying to convince you to see a therapist. (laughs) What? She made an appointment without asking you first. You get so angry that she isn't treating you like an independent person that you throw your phone across the room. I'm gonna trap this lady in a bathroom. I'm gonna put my mom in a bathroom. (laughs) That's how I solve all my problems out. And when I get to that therapist's office, I'm gonna find the bathroom. I'm gonna kick him in. I'm gonna lock the door. (laughs) <laughs> Everyone's getting trapped in a bathroom! I'm fine, Mom! <laughs> oh no, the force of the throw is making the ladder tip. You're falling, feel a sharp pain on your head, and everything goes black. Sometime later, in bathroom. you don't know how long later, you start coming to. The floor is wet. Not just wet, flooded. You're lying in a pool of warm water, and you hear the shower running. Ah. In your fall, you knocked into the door, and you started the room. Ugh. There's blood oozing from the wound on the side of your head. Ah. That's going to leave a mark. You'd be kicking yourself for not having listened to how to solve this room, but you're injured enough as it is. You take a few deep breaths, 
calm down and take stock of what's around you. Or you would if you could. The steam from the shower is so thick, you can barely see your hand outstretched in front of you. You have a vague recollection of what the room looked like from before your fall, and you're pretty sure if you walked up to a wall, you'd be able to see what was on that one. You think the door was behind you. To your right was a sink. To your left was a poster. Ahead of you was the shower. The camera was above you. The stepladder is lying pitifully on the floor by your feet. And your phone can't be too far off. You've gotten yourself into this mess. Best of luck getting yourself out of it. Well, okay. We should be should we be in problem solving solution mode? Yeah, what problem do you feel is most important to deal with? Too steamy. Oh, too steamy? Too steamy. Oh, that wasn't my I so mean, it's steamy. not great, but I think we should turn the shower off. Uh, my first worry, I wanted to clamber towards the poster and uh, if it's got tape on it, use that to bandage our head wound. See, this is why we take a long time to do this. <laughs> Let's go to see the poster. Okay, you walk over to the wall with the poster and you find that there's both a poster and a calendar. Okay. Uh, well, can we have a look at what the poster says first? We committed to poster. What in the world was Jimmy thinking with this poster? There's a cassowary perched atop a lamb, which is itself standing on the back of a second lamb, (laughs) and that second lamb is standing atop an elephant. Makes sense to me. Does it? You know, pile of lambs. Yeah, there is some Silence of the Lambs stuff going on. You do remember from the first time that you were in Alex's bathroom, he had a Silence of the Lambs poster. But now it's Cassowary of the Lamb Lamb Elephant. And the cassowary, you remember from the second time, he had a Band on the Run poster. (laughs) And that was Paul McCartney and Wings, so there are still Wings here. (laughs) Uh, Of course. (laughs) All right. Ah, such Wings. And then there's an elephant in the room. Do you want to talk about it? Exactly. Look at the calendar instead. (laughs) No, maybe, maybe we can go to the calendar. What is the calendar doing? I mean, it looks like a fairly standard calendar. Anything you want to know about it? What is the date on the calendar? Uh, do you have a favorite month? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not one that I've occurred to think of as a favorite. Hold on. What did uh, Dropout just tell us? Um, January, January 23rd? Yeah. So the January. calendar is currently showing the month of January. Okay. okay. But it's not one of those ones where they've crossed off days leading up to today. It's just the month. Nothing's crossed off, but when you look at it, you realize that there are a ton of birthdays marked on this calendar. Oh. Every day has multiple birthdays. Oh. oh. Okay. Now, do you, would you say that there's so many that it's not worth listing it's... them all and we should maybe come back when we know a particular person's birthday that we're looking for? Yeah, there are so many birthdays here that unless you knew you were looking for one in particular, it's not really worth searching through the birthdays at the moment. Understood. Uh, and then the only other question just I'll ask while we're figuring out this, this style of searching, any pictures on it, like a cat calendar? You flip through looking for pictures, but instead of pictures, a piece of paper falls out Ooh, and oh. falls into the water on the floor. You <laughs> snatch it up quickly and I'll send you a picture of that letter now. Well, that All was right, lucky. We got a rifle. Yeah, so for people at home, you can see this note in the show notes below. It looks like it's been typed on a typewriter. Oh, boy. Oh, I can see something going on with it that is... The fact that I'm looking at the screen at a funny angle, it's scaring me a little bit. Oh, is it certain things that are, like, darker than others? There, there, uh, okay, no. no. Uh, not exactly. Well, look, I'm going to read the whole thing. Yeah. And while I do, you look for a secret puzzle. Sure. Here we go. Hello, Alex. As a, shall we say, wise person once told me... Unlawful restraint is only a crime if you don't provide the victim a means of escape. I don't think that's legally true. <laughs> I uh, promise it's is... something that Alex told you in a previous bathroom. Yeah, but I don't think it's legally true. <laughs> I promise it is possible to escape this room with your life, despite the odds being slanted against you. Should you make it out of here alive, which I hope you don't, maybe I could set up a meeting between you and my good pal, Jimmy Ragoletto. 
There was something about a stubborn rooster you could aid him in retrieving. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to mention. That rising water is ah. salt water. If it hits the electrical outlet, you're toast. If you value your life, which you shouldn't, that's probably your highest priority at the moment. While I don't suggest you double your efforts, you may wish to, as the game is afoot. Now, mm -hmm. before I say sincerely your former captive turned captor, which is the next line, if a game is afoot, is it two words? I feel like a game being a foot means the game itself is afoot, as in it's like a, it goes in a shoe. But if a game is afoot without a space, then the game's just going on. Cryptic. I don't know if that's a clue. But we'll find out. There's so, something about foot phrases, you know, the one that I've been going for, a shoe in. A shoe in? Yeah, if something is a shoe in. That's double O. That is not O E. Oh, really? Oh, yes. you shoe it in. Like, come in here. Uh, Get in here. <laughs> come on. Shoe in. That's shoeing. Sincerely, your former captive turned captor. P.S. Don't be married to the idea of a good drink after this. You are banned from Jimmy's bars for life. And banned is also misspelled. Interesting. Are there other misspelled? I don't know. Did you? I didn't notice. Uh, uh, I'll do a quick skim. Uh, Alex should be spelt with a K S, but it's an X instead. <laughs> um, odds aren't slanted against you, are they? Aren't they slated against you? What? Really? I think odds are slated against. Well, you. I, that's not a phrase that I have heard so much that I would question it one way or another. But either way, that's not what I'm looking at here. What? Oh, oh, there are some that are like red. Yes. That literally, those, there are red letters and it did not, I did not notice until right this second. My eyes just suddenly went, huh, and yeah. then found oh, some red letters. A comment about the red letters. So every other playtest that I've done in this room, I was texting people the images. I noticed when I was checking this morning that it's harder to tell which letters are read on a laptop than on a phone. So oh, by all means, feel free to ask me uh, for clarification on which that's, letters are that's read or not. That's lovely, you're right. That might happen. And we're also looking at our screen at slightly odd angles so that we can both see it. Yeah, that's it what looks was to me, me. Like the first red letters are the NG of meeting. That's how I'm seeing it as well. Yes. Um, right. Then Y-O in U. Mm -hmm. Which is odd. Then, yeah, it's not immediately spelling something. like it's spelling a word that starts with... And then the L, L in, in pal. pal. Mm -hmm. R in ragaletto. R in... The capital R in ragaletto. Mm -hmm. The then, E in there. Yeah, further on this mm -hmm. line, I've got E-S-B-R from S stubborn from rooster. B from stubborn, R from rooster. M-R. Mm -hmm. M-R. Him retrieving. So these are weird letters. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's way yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is that L? the L in almost? I think it's the L and the O in almost. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. uh, I and have then E, T in electrical. E, T, electrical. Mm -hmm. Then I have O, E from moment. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I see next. O, E in moment. I see an H, L in while. Mm -hmm. W, S in wish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is there any more? Is that all of them? That is all of them. That's all of them. Oh okay. My gosh. Um, there are not as many vowels as you would NG hope for a message. There aren't no vowels. There are still what one, two, three, four vowels. So it's not impossible. But N G Y O L R E S B R M R L O E T O E H L W S. Hmm. That's an odd collection of letters. There's a lot of them, so I don't feel like I can anagram them right now without some help. Or well, some other way of looking at it. Like it could be paragraph by paragraph or something. That is true. Well, actually, that can't be true because the third paragraph is just H-L-W-S. That's not great. Mm. Yeah, exactly, right? It can't be lim limited to paragraphs if they're words because lush is not a word. Interesting. I don't see anything else because there aren't enough misspellings necessarily to make me think like, let's collect them all. I don't know. And we some of them are possibly not even wrong, band. right? That's true. Like I don't know. Like maybe slanted, slated is a is a just a thing that's sometimes done in different ways, or maybe I'm completely wrong. Yeah, when it comes to little things like that, 
We're learning every day how regional some of these expressions can be, be and so how so little true. variations can happen. Do you know what thing I've been I would... wondering? Are there going to be any elements of this room I wasn't thinking of that aren't oh. going to translate into Australian? Yeah, never know. The, it's impossible to the, keep track the one of it all. That gets me hmm? that I want to be like that one's just wrong, but apparently the answer is no one knows what's right. Oh, is buck naked versus butt naked? What? And I'm are you always kidding? just like, oh, butt naked's clearly just the wrong one. And I'm pretty sure I saw recently they're just like, I've heard actually, both. Actually, whatever. What? Like, they're, le they're both as legitimate as each other. It's not a miss here. Like, it's not an egg corn. It's not like it's a. It's not an egg I corn. I think that might have been true. It just no. happens to be that there are two forms of that phrase. No. Right? That's ridiculous. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not going to research now because I'm, I'm solving an escape room. And I said, <laughs> I said we're not going to the Spanish main. So that means we're not Googling any of this stuff. All right. I mean, it would be hard to research without your phone. Mm, that's also true. Should we go look at our phone? Uh, we don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here. Oh, I thought we we got a description of it being near somewhere on the floor. Can yeah. we just can we search the floor? Is that doable or not? Yeah. Get this? Okay. It's, it's you wet. <laughs> grope around through the water on the floor and come across your cell phone. You could also take the easy way out of here. You can call Jimmy to come and let you out. But <laughs> oh. why isn't it working? It's supposed to be waterproof. <laughs> Wait. It's not salt proof. The letter said salt water. The phone must have shorted out the charging port or something. Oh, well. Terrible. All right. Um. Hold on, hold on, Danny. We can't move on. We've learned from stuff like the calendar. Before I move on from my phone, can I, is there anything, I know it's dead, but can I like, is it if I, op like, can I open up the, the compartment and see if someone snuck a note in my no. battery or that? Like, is there anything else for me to look at with this, like the plug or anything weird? You're pretty sure that since Alex wouldn't have your phone when he was in the room, there can't be anything integral to solving the room about your phone. That's Makes fair. sense. All right. Okay. One other thing that I just want to keep note of, apparently there's an electrical outlet somewhere. Yeah. But maybe we should try seeing what is keeping this shower running, if it's indeed Let's is a shower. Let's go to shower. I will note as well, we were told that if we go up to walls, we might be able to see yeah, what's yeah, on yeah. them. That could have just been for the poster, or it could be like, as we go... Like, can we walk to the shower, but, like, go via the entire left wall, see if there's anything else other than the poster and the calendar on it? You're pretty sure once you walk up to one wall, you see everything on that wall. It's just mm -hmm. the rest of the room that's too can far in the Can we walk to the steam. shower via the east room? East room? So the east wall? <laughs> um, I think you said that door was south yep. in your put, notes. This so is that the makes, sink wall. We put the sink That makes right. poster west. So you want to go to the east wall, which is the opposite side of the wall to get to the, the shower? Yeah, it's the sink wall. Yeah. Okay. You walk up to the wall with the sink on it, and you find that there's the sink, an electrical outlet below the sink, a toilet next to the sink, and a mirror over the sink. Fair enough. Oh. Yeah, we get into my perpetual problem, which is that I draw toilets and they just look like sinks and my sinks look like toilets. <laughs> Whereas how good am I? Actually, that toilet came up pretty well. The sink is still miserable. It's got to be taller. It's a good toilet, though. You're drawing a good toilet. Great. What about me? Um, yeah, again, sinks are difficult to oh, interpret, yeah, but it's not bad. All right. Are we looking at any of this stuff? I don't think we are. We're, we're no, going straight to the, the shower. shower. We're heading to the shower. We note it. We and leave. as we get to the shower, we're checking if there's anything on the north wall. <laughs> uh, the shower is the north wall based on your directions. It's a huge shower. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's the shower curtain all along this wall. So okay. you do notice that the uh, shower curtain has a picture of a rubber duck with a crown printed on it. Ah, uh, yes. King duck. Again, if this is a reference to either ours or Pat's uh, rooms. As far as you can remember, there was nothing about a rubber duck in either of those rooms. So it's a Maybe I'm just crown. forgetting that there was a duck in one of those rooms. But Okay, duck with crown on the shower curtain. Shower curtain. Over and over again, like is it like is a motif, like a million ducks with a million crowns. one extending huge out. Okay. rubber duck. <laughs> All right, one big duck, one big crown. Wait, one big duck, one small crown? Let's, can we, can we part the curtains Let's and... Let's yank this thing open. And just turn the shower off? You pull back the shower curtain, and a cloud of scalding steam envelops you, <gasps> forcing you to stumble several steps back from the wave of heat. When the cloud clears a bit, you take stock of the shower situation. There's a rain of hot water pouring down from the shower head, but it's not pouring into the middle of the tub like you'd expect. Instead, it's pouring straight down, over the handle that you presume controls the water flow. 
You try to peer into the rest of the shower area, but your view is obscured by the steam, and you just see the water overflowing from the edge of the tub into the rest of the room. So it's too hot for us to reach the yeah, handle. Is this all too hot to handle? Can't touch the handle without cooling our Too hands? hot to handle. Can't reach into the tub, into the, into the bath and pull out a plug? Nope, too hot to dip your hand in. You know your life mm. depends on it, but you just can't force yourself to. All right. If I'm looking for something to protect my frail hands, because it's true, I can't handle sink heat at sure. all. Uh, I'd be going to the sink. I said sink heat. Sink. Oh, you want to go to the sink? I would to like to go to the sink. or something? Exactly. Okay, there let's hit something the sink. going on there. You walk back to the sink, and what do you want to do while you're over here? Well, first things first, the sink itself, does it work? Does it function? Can we turn on the taps of various types? You try and turn on the tap, but nothing happens. You suppose that the sink's primary purpose is to look pretty because Alex would suspect something if there was a bathroom with no sink? Mm. Okay, that's fair. If I look into the drain of the sink, is there a little key d- dangling around in there going, ka-ching, ka-ching, catch me? There's not even a real drain. What? <laughs> it's um, just a bowl. <laughs> in terms of the... I know that we can check in the mirror above the sink in a Can't second. Can't imagine that's going to be very there, useful. Is there anything under the sink? There was the outlet. Under well, the sink, uh, there's the outlet, and you notice that uh, there's some metal plumbing. So I guess current will flow from the uh, outlet through the salt water into you and out the plumbing. Uh, efficient electrocution. Intriguing. Okay, interesting. The outlet itself, Can we? is there anything to note about an outlet? This just appears to be your standard electrical outlet. You'll need some way to, to stop the rising water from reaching it before your toast. Ah, you don't will. worry. You said it was a standard outlet, which in my world means it has an off switch, so I can just turn the power <laughs> off at the outlet. Um, nailed it. Nailed it. You didn't specify American standard. Um, <laughs> but Jimmy Reguleta is American, so to him... <laughs> Ah, uh, he's named after an Australian bottle of sauce. That's an Australian gangster. <laughs> um, all right. <sighs> okay. So we got to power. Out, so shall we look at the mirror? Presumably, I, I, I mean, up. we can. I assume there's not much to look at oh, with the mirror. A secret steamed up code. <laughs> so what do you want to do with the mirror? First of all, Just we look. look. We look. Look, but don't touch. The mirror appears to be one of those with the medicine cabinet behind it, but the cabinet is locked with a four-digit combination lock. And there's no there's no steam message on the mirror. None that you can see, and you'd be surprised because if there was ever going to be enough steam for a message, it would be now. <laughs> All right. So we need a four digit code for the mm-hmm. for the mirror lock. Um, shall we just keep looking at a few things until we find a smoking? Yeah, we gun? might as well keep looking. A steaming I mean, gun. We've got a poster with four animals on it, so my four senses go off with that. But oh. I agree that we still have just a couple of things to look at, so it's worth doing that. Yeah, let's have a look at the toilet next. Yep. Looks like a generic toilet you find in someone's apartment. Does it seem functional or like the sink? Flush just that toilet. A little fake. Uh, you uh, flush the handle and you don't hear anything. Can we look into the um, cistern? That's the word I'm looking for. The Open cistern it up like a toilet? person who knows toilets. Yeah, just like pull the top off and then like, you know, when you pull it a little bit and it like catches on... Uh, on the on the button, and you're like, well, how do I, ma- how am I meant to actually get this off? And then you're shaking, and it sort of comes off. Well, look at you sounding like you've lifted a <laughs> toilet box before. Inside the cistern, you find a first aid kit. Huh. Nice. That's nice. Okay, I would like to use some of that on our dying <laughs> That's head. right, we're dying. <laughs> we're not this dying, would we're be perfect to patch yourself up, except it's locked <laughs> with a seven-letter combination lock. You get why Jimmy did this, and you know things aren't exactly above board right now. That's why you're here in the first place, but this has to be a serious health and safety violation. It's fair. Bill is counting on his fingers. Ah, uh, Ragoletto's nine letters. <laughs> um, okay. Seven letter combo for the toilet, four digit combo for the mirror. Right. All right. There's still things to look at. Yep. So first of all, I assume our ladder won't have a huge amount going on because again, oh, as far as ladder on every step, as far as I'm aware, it wasn't meant to be here, but it may still belong to Jimmy. So yeah. you never know what it's got lying on it. So right, let's go back to the middle and feel around this ladder. Yeah. Let's look at our ladder. It looks like a fairly generic stainless steel step ladder. 
Readjusting it. Uh, how's that camera looking? Anything changed about it since we were messing with it earlier? I mean, the camera's still mounted to the ceiling. You're pretty sure it was here primarily for you to watch and mm. not otherwise part of the room. After all, you wouldn't want Alex messing with your view while he was stuck here. If we climb up the stepladder and have a closer look, is there anything... Is there a code hidden, written behind it? You take a step up the ladder, but you start feeling really woozy. Uh, we With can't the blood the coming out of your head, you just don't feel strong enough to risk going up and possibly falling again until you patch up your wound. We need to take a, a first aid kit like it's a FPS from 2003. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, by my current notes, like there are still things like you can look harder at floor, look harder at roof, but by my notes, there's only one thing left door. to look at. What? The door we came in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check the door. Checking the door. Classic. The door appears to be locked with a numeric keypad just below the doorknob. And you also see your blood stains on the door. Well, <gasps> at least those will put fear into Alex's heart. <laughs> Okay, keypad bloodstains. They look like real bloodstains, right? Not that we, in our unconscious state, started writing. Yeah, we, st we didn't. We didn't scroll a four letter or a four digit lock no, code. No, and you know that those bloodstains weren't supposed to be here. <laughs> mm, that's true. All right. Next to the door, there are also some light switches. The light switches are under a clear cover. Next to the cover, built into the wall, is a tiny alphabetic keyboard with the brand name Hanover printed on it. Spelled like the location? Spelled like the uh, German city with two N's. So that's a, like we get a, a, a keypad to input numbers? Letters, wasn't Letters? it? Alphabetic keypad. Oh, oh, cool, 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 cool. What is our current level of lighting like in here? So currently, uh, you know that there's a uh, light coming somewhere from the ceiling. You want to take a look up? Let's have a look up. Okay. Let us lift. Look that makes up. sense, I suppose. <laughs> uh, Spider Man's not there the whole time. <laughs> a very basic exposed light bulb in a socket hanging from the ceiling that is too high up for you to reach without the stepladder. And it seems to be the thing that's on? It seems to be the thing that's on. Gotcha. And the floor, there's nothing interesting about the floor, it's just all wet. I mean, you do notice that the floor is tiles inset in a metal grid. Uh, you guess that makes electrocution a little more efficient. All right. Well, I think we just wait for death. <laughs> I mean, that water level is getting closer to the outlet, so. It looks like we've now done everything, right? Looked at everything? We've, Perhaps. We've, we've looked at everything. We need, like, I'm going to go through what I think our problems are. Mm-hmm. We cannot get to the camera or the roof because we are too injured to get on a stepladder. So, so stepladder access is, is restricted by med, the med get, kit. Yeah, we need to get a seven-letter combo. It a first aid kit, that's it. Um, we need a first aid kit, seven-letter combo, that'll let us stand on a ladder. Mm -hmm. Presumably we'll get something from behind a mirror, but that has a four-digit combo. Mm -hmm. You notice there are four animals on a poster. Mm -hmm. That might help. We also have this crazy code from a letter which we haven't used yet. Mm. And there may also be information in the letter unrelated to the code, right? It might have two... There might also be other information in there. Yes. So it's good to remember. We need a... Letters for, to control the light switches. Any kind of letters to control the light switches. Now, I don't know why we want to change the lighting at this stage, but presumably that will give no, us some might further help. stuff. And any kind of numbers to, for the door to get out, because it's just got a number yes. keypad. And we want to turn the shower off, but mm. the only thing limiting our shower manipulation skills is heat. Yes. So perhaps when we open one of these things, we'll be able to turn the shower off. Yeah. Who knows? It looks to me that the only, that like the first port of call, oh, and if we have a birthday, we can check. Yeah, that's true too. Uh, a birthday wasn't mentioned in the letter or anything, was it? Uh, I didn't think that. Mm. I didn't think that. Yeah, that's words. The game is a foot. Maybe that's, ref maybe it's separated out into a foot. Because we should count the number of feet that each of those animals have, which would be a bit odd because it'd be two four four four. I wondered, but then we've also got things like uh, the word "double" is in there. Ah, I well, they so, don't suggest that we double it. Mm, but yeah, who knows if there are but any? We may wish to. Yeah, little interesting things hidden in here. There could be all sorts of weird words going on. Do you want to scan this letter for any other hints? I'll try, but when you're looking for hints, you find them where there aren't any. The fact that there are red letters feels like we should really be paying attention to those. Well, let's quickly just try on the... Before we do the letter, 
Why don't we try on the lock? Either 2444 or 4888. Okay, be doubling our you can give both of those a go. Do you want to yeah. try one first? Yeah, let's try 2444. You try 2444 to no avail. We try 4888. You try 4888 and the cabinet pops open. <gasps> nice. Inside. All right, we doubled our efforts on the feet. That why it was, that's why it was a foot. Yay! Love it. <laughs> Inside, you find a light bulb and an orchid. A light bulb and an orchid. What? The orchid is from our room? Do we have an orchid? We I had a plant don't think it was an orchid specifically, but I think both previous rooms had plants in them. All right. So, sorry, what do we get? We got a light bulb? A light bulb and an orchid. Uh, can we dig in the soil of the orchid and find Oh, is there a, key? yeah, was it a potted orchid? It's a fake orchid in a vase, so you can't dig into the soil because it's not real soil. Intriguing. That's fair. Uh, anything interesting about the orchid? Does it, does it look like a seven letter, a seven letter combination? <laughs> Depends how Danny draws it. <laughs> hmm. And we have a light bulb. So maybe we'll have to change the light in the room. Yeah, interesting. Oh, maybe. Does it look like a normal light bulb? Or does it look like it might be different? The light bulb has the letters UV printed on the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, I nice, wanted. Nice, 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 nice. But we have to get the step ladder first, we which means do. we need... We still need this seven And we'll thing. probably have to turn the lights off so we don't electrocute ourselves when we change the light. Sure. So there's a, there's a lot of things to oh, get okay. to before we can put that light in the light switch. Yep, that's fair. What do we do with an orchid? I I mean... I remember what we did in our room a little bit. We steamed it up and then unsteamed it. Opened it, it up. There might have also been it. something in the soil. I can't remember how much I double used things back then. This isn't a real then. plant. But this is just a fake orchid. Yeah, but mine was a magic fake plant, a magic real plant. No, uh, I don't know what an orchid can do unless orchids can tolerate great heat and curl themselves around handles. Now, orchid is not seven lettuce. And fake orchid is more than seven letters. <laughs> what do I do with a fake orchid? I'm going back to this note. Why does the rubber duck on the curtain have a crown? Why is he King Duck? King Duck sends his regards. What is King Duck referencing to us? Also, look at the King Duck shower curtain with a bath that I've drawn. It's like it's a great. terrifying creature. Legs. Because I tried to draw a clawed bathtub behind it. It's missing the it letter work. L. What? It's a duck king instead of oh, a duckling. I see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do we do with all these red letters? They don't spell anything. But they're, they're tempting enough that they could just without that many vowels. Oh, there are five vowels. I missed another E. Three E's and two O's. Mm. Is this, does this just anagram to some insanely long phrase? Can you spell king duck? <laughs> it's too many letters for me to just anagram. If it is all in one chunk, I agree. That's why I wondered if there were ways to de-chunk mm. them, like odds slanted against you. Is there anything? Do we do every like, odd letter? Things like that, maybe. But then we start with NY. Every odd letter, if we just go through in order and we go every odd letter, it'd be N Y L E B M L. A. They are being slanted against us. I know. So do we slant? How do you slant a letter? I'm trying. <laughs> They're not italicized. Yeah, I'm trying to like read them diagonally, but not all of them work that way. Hmm. If you value your life, it's probably your highest priority. That's getting rid of the electrical outlet. Hmm. Feels like we've got to turn off the shower. We need to be able to protect our hands. How could you protect your hands? With a with gloves, or with a big block of ice. How hefty is the duck shower curtain? Can oh, yeah, we wrap can we just it over use the ourselves? Shower curtain? Is it just as simple as that? We can use it to protect our hands. You try and wrap the shower curtain around your hands, but as you go to tear it off, you find it is such cheap plastic that it mostly disintegrates. But a little tag uh, flutters from the uh, remains of the shower Ooh. curtain, which I'll send yeah, you We never now. really searched it, did we? All right. Duck didn't cooperate. All right. So we have this shower Ooh. curtain tag, and for people who are That's looking at the show That's a good-looking image of a tag. It Not says, oh, yeah, You want me to read it? Yeah, please. Not to be mean. Behind the shower curtain, please get clean. 
This location belongs to Lord Ducky. Not the place to get lucky. In your bathroom, I was stricken. Meanwhile, you stole... My chicken. It doesn't say Jimmy's it. Jimmy's but... chicken. I think I, I think I can see the word yeah. Jimmy faintly there. Stole... I mean, the end is torn off. Jimmy's chicken. But yeah, the end, is, I'm sure that that would be a Jimmy's chicken. But it is torn away. Oh, no. Okay, what do we get out of this? Not behind this, not in meanwhile. Those are the first words. Mm. Not behind this, not in meanwhile. Doesn't mean anything. Last words. <laughs> mean, clean, ducky, lucky, stricken chicken. Presumably chicken. Presumably chicken. What do we get out of this? What do we get out of this? Now, I was thinking maybe that means that the code for something is Jimmy's chicken, the thing that's been released, but that's razor face and it's nine letters. Damn. Assuming that that was the one that was stolen. Assuming that's the one that was stolen. I don't recall the name of the other one, if it had a name. (sighs) Razor face was the more stubborn one of the two. Yeah. That would have been harder to steal. Unless, of course, that just helps us with the light switch. What? Because that also needed any kind of word to open up. Light oh, switches. you're right. So I, we, while we're thinking, I'll quickly go over there and type "razor face" into the light switch. I don't imagine. You type "razor face" into the keypad that said Hanover on it, and hear a sad beep. All right. This is one of those ones where there are several things, and you know, like when we're doing a very hard Sudoku, and it's. Difficult. Like often the way that we get through those is we just have some instinct of, I think this is the one we should be focusing on. This is the part of the Sudoku we should be looking at right mm. now. I think an answer will come from here. And right now, I'm not sure which of the things has our best no. path forward. Based on that now, makes me worry that there's other stuff we haven't found, that we're not looking at all the pieces of evidence, right? Like we just we just said... Let's mess with this curtain and we got a new clue. Mm. Is there anything I else? I think you... so far you have seen pretty much. Oh, no. Actually, no. There is oh, one no. thing accessible to you that you haven't seen yet. Yeah. What oh, would be boy. accessible to us that we haven't seen? The back of the orchid? You pick up the orchid. You don't find anything on the back, but as you're fumbling around with it, you do feel a bit of tape on the underside, and I'll send you a picture of that now. Oh. Yeah. We had mentioned the orchid, but we had never explicitly said, I do thing to orchid. Yeah. Well, you said that you tried to dig through the soil, but you didn't need to pick it up to get to try and dig through the soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, and this is a, you can see this at home in the show notes, but it's a piece of tape stuck to the underside of a vase, I guess. The original code was shorter than the lock would allow, so I multiplied it by my birthday. Okay, hold on. Which one was numbers again? The door. Uh, is the door the only numbers one that we have right now? I guess so. Oh, man, but I don't want to go for the door just yet. Yeah, because that, I don't think we'll have access to that yet. <laughs> so, Who wrote this note? Do we recognize the note? Well, this it must was, be Jimmy's, right? It must be Jimmy's, but it seems like Jimmy is working it to be like to sound like it's coming from us. Yeah, did we write that original letter or did well, Jimmy no, write well, it? Yeah. Jimmy wrote the letter under the guise of under the guise of us. Yeah, under the okay. guise of us. Can and we... this note feels really last minute change, like just masking ah. tape on the bottom of the orchid, kind of like it wasn't well thought out. Okay, does that mean? Well, if we look at the he month... hasn't researched our birthday. Yeah, can we find Jimmy's birthday? You flip through the calendar, but you can't find Jimmy's birthday on it. Can we find our own birthday? Uh, your birthday isn't there either. Either way, we don't have the original code, so it's yeah. all, all a bit of a moot point right now. Oh, these letters are killing me. Yeah. Obviously, the red letters have to be important. There's so many of them. I'm assuming it is not as... Like, what if I went to the door where there is an alphabet lock on the switches and just typed in all of the red letters? You type in all of the red letters and hear a sad beep. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. cool. If we take the odd ones... Are they more anagrammable? Yeah. Eh. I wouldn't right. go that far. It's not impossible, but... So what do we do with the red letter? Like, nothing <laughs> else has been mentioned about them. There are seven lines to the way that I have written them that have red letters on them. Is that a coincidence? Oh, seven lines of red letters mm. rather than paragraph-wise. So, like, the first line has... N-G-Y-O. The second line has R-E-S-B-R. The next line has M-R. Mm. The next line has 
E T. The next line has O E, and the last line has H double. Oh no, there's an H W and a W F. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else to look at. We've looked at everything. Is there anything else to interact with? There is one thing currently accessible to you that you have not yet observed to its fullest. The bath itself? Uh, the bath just had that hot water overflowing over the edge of it. Hmm. Okay, can we look underneath the bath? Does it have little fun little claw feet? Like no, a, this is one that uh, goes down to the floor. There's is nothing there anything it. else weird written on the stepladder? Does it have like... Nope, nothing written on the stepladder. Okay, the poster we've looked at pretty exhaustively. We can't pull it off. We've looked at the front. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the door. But we looked, explicitly we looked at the door. Can we just open the door? <laughs> the door is locked, unfortunately. Yeah. You cannot okay. open it. We never found out. We explicitly Gr looked gritty at the door. Metal, gritty metal floor? Anything gritty metal floor? Uh, is there for electrocution. Yeah. Yeah. Sink. Again, we checked like, should, every should element we have, of the sink. Should we have actually rubbed the mirror to see if anything happened when we de-steamed it? Would see if as the steam comes back, it does anything? Or if there's just something. Or if there's just something. Okay, yeah. can we yeah, can we clear, clear up the mirror, get the steam off the mirror with our, just our sleeve? You rub the steam off the mirror with your sleeve and it immediately steams back up. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. Anything on the inside of the mirror door when we open it to look inside the cabinet? <laughs> Ah, oh, that is a door. You're always supposed to check the door. And in fact, there is a bit of writing scrawled there. <laughs> this is the second time in a row that that specifically has stuffed us up. That is true. Midroom doors. <laughs> but this is less of a door than the other one was. Even so. Now, for people at home, you can see this uh, image. Ooh. Uh, ooh it's, would you like to read this for everybody at home? Uh, it's very handwritten, this stunt. says, you're the key. And then a bunch of letters on three separate lines. First line, D, W, L, also a D? I think so. M? Oh, looks different from the first D. And second line, A, S, P. That is just poor handwriting in the corner on the back of an actual medicine cabinet mirror. <laughs> Understood. A, S, P, D, T for the second line. And the third line is just G, H. Twelve letters altogether over three lines. And mostly consonants. That is... So constantly that it makes me feel like, and it says you're the key, it makes me feel like I want to be ciphering this out. Well, Alex is the key. Interesting. But what I don't know how that mean? helps. If this is a cipher to solve. We are notably bad at ciphers in a quick amount of time. Rather, just don't know them. Like, I know that like, there's a whole thing like, too. oh, you can have the key word, but that's usually when someone writes out the key word and then you know it's meant to say Alex and then mm. you can figure out what the rotation or whatever it is. But this is not that case. Oh, you're the key. You're the key. D-W-L-D-M. Don't worry. Let's dance more. <laughs> A sad person dances twice. Go home. Go home. <laughs> okay, so give that that's the code. Can we dance twice <laughs> so that the door opens? You dance twice and you feel very faint with the blood still gushing out of your head and nothing I else happens. Imagine. Have we now looked at everything? I believe you have looked at everything that is currently accessible to you to the fullest extent that you can currently look at it. That doesn't seem right because none of these are solvable. <laughs> uh, okay. Red letters. I don't know what to do. What if the red ones are not about being red, but about like being excluded from the words they were in? Don't mm. think so. Then we have meat. Yeah, then we've just got a lot of words with one letter with missing. The ohm thing. There's got to be something about the letters themselves. Problem is, there's just nothing about the letters themselves. Some of them are at the ends of words. Some of them are at the starts of words. Sometimes they're, they're paired up. Sometimes they're not. They are placed in what seems like arbitrary locations. The locations don't say... Like... Oh, actually, I've been trying to are they, read them in different orientations. Is there but... any way to be, I'm going to tell you, Danny, everything that could possibly be known about these red letters. They're red. They are separated into paragraphs. They are separated into lines. They are typed on a letter at the ends, beginnings, and middles of words, sometimes paired up, sometimes not paired up. There is one of them that's a capital and all the rest are lowercase. And the capital is furthest left, which makes you maybe want to start going left to right, but, but they don't. 
they cannot all be flipped into different letters. Like an N might be able to, but a G cannot, especially the way that G has been written, nor could an R. Could be a relation to being odd or slanted, but they are not themselves slanted. Mm. And if you tried to do what you were saying before, Danny, like, is there like a diagonal line you can draw where they relate to that doesn't actually seem to work? I'm struggling with that. Um, they are sometimes together and sometimes not. No. What? If something's paired up, it's now not odd anymore because it's a pair. No, there's not, there's not enough of them because there's only two of them that are paired up like that, right? The NG there and are the only two that are paired up. What could be different about those two in the pairs? Where's the second pair? Y-O. It's just the NG oh. and the Y-O right at the start. They have the word between between them. Oh, they do. I don't Bet- know if that does anything. What is between the reds, though? That would say between Jimmy was born in. There are words between the red bit. Oh. I still have no idea why the doubles are doubled, but. You, in- yeah, so are you finding Jimmy's birthday from this? I don't know. You just sounded like you said Jimmy was born in. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy oh. was born. In M C M Roman numerals. Ah, uh, M C M I. Oh, oh. So the end. The doubles are just to make us think of the word between. Oh. Mm-hmm. And now we That's think tough. about the odds. Okay. Wait. Now we think about the odds. Why Not odds? Not odds. Now we think about the ones that aren't double. The individuals. All right, so between is not part of the, 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 the message. It says, Jimmy was born in MCM. Is that it? No. Uh, there's an I. I. And another I. I. Is that, is that it? everything? 1902? Or did we miss something? Jimmy was born in 1902. I for, I, I, it makes sense, years-wise. He's very old. <laughs> he was a speakeasy dude. Yeah, but... Like, we don't know if this escape room is necessarily set in the present year. Yeah. All we know, there are cell phones, and those were invented in, like, the 70s. So we don't have Jimmy's birthday in our calendar, but does the calendar go back to 1902? <laughs> it is just a single-year calendar, but it is not marked which year. It's probably, like, it could be that that's not the year that that is a date. It could be February the 2nd, fe- 19th. Oh, but, that's fair. But, yeah, or it just could be 1902, and then... That's multiplied by something. Either way. Either way, that makes the letter solved. Possibly. Might still be more to it, but we've got something out of that. Does not help us move forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it so much feels like it should. We know that Jimmy was born in 1902. And now I can cross out those red letters that have been solved. Can you go back to the bathroom thing? Uh, what I'm is sorry. the bathroom? Wow, thing? you're right. That was unhelpful. Because everything sink. is the bathroom. <laughs> the sink mirror thing. The sink mirror thing. Thank right. you. You are the key, but specifically you're the key. Three <sighs> lines of letters. Five, then five, then two. Does that look like anything? Does it feel like anything? It's not like a calendar, which would have lines of seven. And you are the key. And it's written to Alex. Alex is a key for this. But I don't understand how a key could solve this, if you know what I mean. Yes. Often with a, with a code like that, right, where there's like a key word, it would be, you know that Alex is going to be the first word written here, and then you'll see a four-letter word, and you're like, well, I know that says Alex, because I've been told that Alex is the key to solving a cipher. Hmm. And so I know that A goes to whatever, and L goes to whatever, and E goes to whatever, and X goes to whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I'm most, I'm not really explaining this to you, Danny. I kind of, I know that you know this. I'm sort of explaining it to people at home. Mm -hmm. Um, Now you would think then that if like it was that type of a key to a cipher that this would start with a four letter word. It starts with a five letter word. It could be that the first four letters are meant to represent Alex, but we know that they don't because then D would represent both A and X, (sighs) right? So none of these look like the word Alex. Why are you writing out the alphabet? Because I'm going, if it is a code, we've got GH at the very end. Those are two things right next to each other. So assuming it's not one of those ones where it changes 
where the code goes back and forth by a different amount every time, you'd be looking for something that has two letters right next to each other. Oh, that's interesting. And there are not, like, in with a normal alphabet, that doesn't happen very often. Like, you've got the word no, and that's about it. That's interesting. Like, so if it's rotational and every letter has been moved N places, then GH would have to be N-O. Are there any other two-letter words like that? Not normal ones that I can see. I mean, I'm happy to give it a crack if you want to see if that rotation works. Oh, God. Just write N-O on top of G-H? I mean, it would just be plus sevening. That's not going to go great. I wouldn't think so. What's D plus seven? K. Like, K? What's W? E. K-E. What's L? <laughs> Uh, L is the 12th, so I need the 19th. That's S. I mean, mm, it's not forming K-E-S-K. much of a word. Kesk is probably not going to be. It's probably not correct. Kesk. It's probably Kesk not Kesk. It's probably not going to be correct. So let's, it's not a rotational cipher based on the only two letter word that we could possibly find. Often with these, when you're looking at the puzzles, you want to kind of look at what you might actually get as an input. And we know we're the only, like, the biggest input we're waiting for is a seven letter combination. Yeah, all we are looking for right now, I mean, there is still the door, but assuming that's going to take a while, we are looking for letters. Yeah, either a seven-letter combo for our first aid kit or some kind of combination to get to the lights, but I don't think they're going to be relevant without the first aid kit anyway. Mm. I still don't know what's going to help us with the shower. Mm. It's hot. Would be nice to turn that water off before it reaches the level of the output. I mean, yeah, we, we, we should would. be dead. So let's ignore this. Let's say that this is irrelevant. Okay. Let's try and solve the shower problem. Oh, okay. Is there just a normal solution that we haven't considered? Is this just a environmental, d- just do the right thing, you dummy? No, pick up the ladder and slam it at it until it's facing a different direction. Pick up the ladder and slam it at it until it's facing a different direction? <laughs> You pick up the ladder, you use it as a very awkward stick to push over the handle on the shower, stopping the water. As the uh, steam starts to clear, you can now see a bit more clearly into the shower area. Oh. There's a towel hung on a rack, a lighting fixture flush with the ceiling, a bath mat under the water in the tub, a switch that probably controls the tub's drain and the tub itself is one of those walk-in tubs for seniors with a door built in so no one has to step over the wall of the tub and risk tripping. I did not see ladder weapon coming. But no, I really thought fair. we'd have to solve the puzzle to, get, to like get a I thought I was trying to device. unlock something. And I but really I thought Bill was going to get that almost instantly. <laughs> no, I respect where I think there's a puzzle. I don't I like, like to, to play around. I think that's more a me thing. I think that's more a you thing, and you did do it. There was some <laughs> other room that I was listening to after I had done the bulk of writing this where I heard Bill figure out some physical puzzle, and in my head I just go, oh, no, is Bill going to speed run this room? Interesting. No, he did not. <laughs> no, no, I really... That I was saw... one of the important parts of solving this room, figuring out how to turn off the water. Yeah. All right, let's look at this towel first. It's just a... Uh, plain towel. A likely story. I pull it off the towel rack, I examine it both sides, and then I glare at the towel rack itself once I'm done. You do all of the above, and you notice nothing new. Okay. I glance at the light fixture. It is currently on, and it is inset into the ceiling and looks otherwise inaccessible to you. Alright, bath mat. Anything interesting about bath mat? The bath mat is in the tub you pick it up the water is still (laughs) hot but no longer scaldingly now that new water isn't flowing in and ew this mat is really gross it's completely covered in mold sounds familiar does the mold spell anything (laughs) you cannot discern any other details about the mat other than it is just really gross and completely covered in mold well, you say that, but I shake it a little bit and see Lord, if anything falls Lord out. Lord Ducky said that back. we could clean behind uh, the shower curtain, so yeah. I don't understand why it's dirty. I'm not an expert on dealing with mold, except for various vinegars and bleaches that the internet simultaneously says will help and are absolutely useless. That's, that's the internet. Did it leave any sort of weird imprint on the bath when we picked it up? Was there anything to note no, there? No, it did not. Okay. And then there's just the switch, right? And the door, but let's try the oh, let's yeah, try the, yeah, little, the, bath the, the bath the drain switch. Does it look like we can access it? I empty the bath. Uh, you flip the switch and the uh, tub drains. Hmm. 
still water pooled in the rest of the room, but now you have an empty tub. Okay. I don't know why we want an empty tub at this stage. Does anything look different now? Is there like a ring of muck around the, the bath? Is there anything, nope. any new things to glean from an empty bath? None that you observe. Weird. Okay. And then once again, we've got a door. Yes. Yeah, so let's, let's look at the tiny little bath door. You look at the uh, door in the side of the bathtub. Uh, you do not see any markings on either side of it. What? Can it be opened? <sighs> You try opening it, but it feels jammed. Why is it jammed? I don't know. Can we see into its hin hinges? Yeah. Is there any like a piece of paper stuck in there? The hinge is built into the wall of the tub. Uh, you don't see anything jamming the hinge. Well, I've learned my lesson. Can I use the ladder as a crowbar <laughs> to pry the you door You try open? to use the ladder as a crowbar to no avail. If we refill the bath with water, does the bath door somehow open when it's not drained? You refill the bathtub with water and the door swings open. Oh. The hydrostatic pressure differential was jamming the door before. Now what? you have a full tub with an open door. And now we empty the... Now, now all the water from the room, right? It's all part of the bath, right? Before, right? We, let's say the bath is level with the floor, right? Before, we drained the bath empty, right? But there was water in the rest of the room, and that meant we couldn't open the door because the whole room is full of water. But now, and that also meant all the room's worth of water couldn't get to the bathtub drain. But now we've opened the door, thus making it all one system. <laughs> now we empty it. Does all the water in the room empty? Now you drain the tub with the tub door open, <laughs> and the water drains from both the tub and the room. Everybody knows the lowest point of a bathroom is always the tub. This is bathroom a physics of salt water. <laughs> that I have never encountered before. This is something that Bill got My far quicker God. of anyone who tried this room. Like, this is the physical stuff I was worried about Bill speedrunning. <laughs> All right, so we have emptied out a lot of water from the room. That's great. Now, does there's only that... a thin film of salt water down the bottom of the room. Does that, does the salt clean the mold? Do anything? You do not seem to be able to clean the mold off with the salt water. And if you remember when the um, mat was in the tub, it was drenched in salt water earlier it was. and that didn't do anything. Maybe it needed a higher salt concentration. Hmm. All right. Um, the shower is now off. The bath is now empty. The water in the entire room is drained away. We, the, we are no longer in a water-filled environment. There is a vague little tiny, tiny bit of water left, but not really. Is there anything else we should note about where the last little dregs of saltiness are pooling on the floor or anything like that? It seems to be a uniform, extremely thin film. Mm -hmm. Does the floor, now that the water is drained, look any different? Or is it still no. just, it's metal enough to electrocute us? Still metal enough to electrocute you. We have a towel. Can we use the towel to mop up all the water off the floor? If it makes you happy, you can try and mop some of it up, but you're still not being that efficient about it. And it's still leaving a bit of salty grind behind. Mm. And now your towel's a little soggy. Can we now use that uh, now soggy towel? Can, can we wipe down the mirror a little bit now that we've gotten rid of a lot of the oh, steam? Oh, yeah, now the steam's not going to come straight back? Uh, you wipe down the mirror of it with your now salty, soggy towel, and you create some random scratches on the mirror that have absolutely no meaning to you. Hmm. Ah, this dang first aid kit. We need a seven-letter combo for the first aid kit. We've got two things of words. We've got this, you're the key, and we've got the Lord Ducky thing. Those are where words are. Not to be mean, behind the shower curtain, please get clean. This location belongs to Lord Ducky, not the place to get lucky. In your bathroom, I was stricken. Meanwhile, you stole, and then it's been ripped away. And it probably says Jimmy's chicken. 3224 is not to be mean. You're counting the letters. Counting the letters of each word. Which... It's not been super hinted, but maybe it is, and maybe we end up with a phrase anyway. Like, if it's 3224, I mean, that's nothing, because that would be CBBD. Mm. If it's 3224, and then it's 6367... 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 
We know that we had to solve for the final two being six letters long and seven letters long, which makes maybe that be relevant. It might not be entirely unhelpful to reread Jimmy's letter if you have a sense of what might help you somehow, yeah. even just vaguely. All right. Hello, Alex. As a, shall we say, wise person once told me, unlawful restraint is only a crime if you don't provide the victims a means of es- or the victim a means of escape. I promise it is possible to escape this room with your life, despite the odds being slanted against you. That's a thing that we still haven't really used, which is why I was looking at like mm. the odd words. But the odd words, as in like the words whose value was odd, didn't seem to make any sense. Uh, how many of them are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Doesn't matter. Um, should you make it out of here alive, which I hope you don't, maybe I could set up a meeting between you and my good pal Jimmy Ragoletto. There was something about a stubborn rooster you could aid him in retrieving. That's his. It does say the word aid. Why does that matter? Because we're trying to open a first aid thing. Oh, is chicken just seven letters? Is all of this irrelevant? We just put in chicken. Can we just put chicken into the first aid thing? You try chicken, and there's a click. The lid oh my opens. God. You look inside and are a bit disappointed. There isn't much in here. A pair of scissors, a bottle of rubbing alcohol, and some pain medication. And I will send you an image of the uh, pain medication now. Let's take a look. Okay. Ah, okay. So this is, this some is medication. Helpful. And it says Hanover Electric. Eclectic. Oh, sorry, Eclectic. Ragtime band. I did. We did notice the word "band" in the original red letter. This has red letters on it as well. Yes. Officially branded pain pills. Yeah. The H, the E is the H of a Hanover. The E, the first E of eclectic, the first R of ragtime, and the entire word "band" are all in red, which says "her band." Mm. I don't know. The word "married" in there as well is making me think. Oh, is there a wedding ring somewhere around here that we should be looking at? It's a ring. This is a red herring, isn't it? Oh, so then let's get, let's leave. Was this the only thing that was in the... There was that uh, pain pill bottle. Mm-hmm. There was a pair of scissors oh. and a bottle of rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Can we put it on the note that's on the back of the mirror and see what letters remain after we rub away the others <laughs> with alcohol? Uh, I'll assume none of you them. You rub away the uh, letters and... They vanish, but thankfully, with your good memory, you remember what they were. Photographic (laughs) memory. Cool. What would we want rubbing alcohol for? Put on the mirror? Uh, That wouldn't occur to me. Can we put it in our own wound? I mean, it stings a little, but at least now your wound's disinfected. Mm. Nice. Um, Also, can we just take some of these pills? You uh, (laughs) take one of those five maroon pills, and you feel a little less sore now. Mm. Can I stand on a ladder now? You try staying up the ladder, but you're still woozy. You need to bandage up your wound you before you can climb the ladder. Four more pain pills. Is, what is that what the towel's for? Can we put, tie a towel around our head? You try tying the towel around your head, but it's very bulky and awkward. Yeah. It's not really holding enough pressure. But with the scissors, we cut up the towel into strips ah. and then tie it around our head. You cut up the towel into strips and tie some of those around your head. Now the wound is holding. It's stinging a little from the salt you got on the towel earlier, but that you're just not means it's getting anymore. better. Okay. Now that's I progress. climb a ladder. Okay, you climb the ladder. I have a look at the camera. You take a look at the camera. It just looks like the camera. Yep. Forget that. I want to. I have a look I mean, at the light bulb. I mean, yeah, we want to look at these lights more clearly. I don't think anything will happen with them until we can turn them off. Yeah. Can I change the lights without turning it off? Will I electrocute myself? You're on a bare metal ladder on a slightly salty floor with a metal grid. Do you really want to go be touching some live electrical thing at the moment? Yeah, This seems like a bad idea. Cool. We're one step away from being able to get UV, and I'm sure that will get us out. All right. Now I feel like all we have left is the the back of the mirror. This you're the key. That's not all you have left. We've got the base of the vase thing as well. That's not all you have left. We have some rubbing alcohol. That's not all you have left. On oh, the moldy bath mat as well. Oh, yeah, we have a moldy you bath mat. have a moldy mat. bath mat. Can we put, we rubbing, put rubbing alcohol, alcohol all over that? that? You put some rubbing alcohol on the moldy bath mat, and the mold rubs off. Okay. And on it, you see a uh, company logo, Useful Rectangle Associates, 
and a care instruction, which does not seem to have been followed based on how moldy this <laughs> is. It says, please anticipate washing nightly. Those do have first letters that spell something. I was going to say, it sounds exactly like we're, like a like a mnemonic. Yeah, well, like a mnemonic. Yeah, like a mnemonic. Um, mnemonics don't have to be first letters. Yeah, but they always are. <laughs> so that would spell, please anticipate washing nightly would spell porn. My first thought is looking at the floor again. Is it eight by eight? It is not eight by eight. Okay, that's something. Oh, useful rectangle. Useful rectangle associates. You're a pawn. You are a pawn. Is that a you thing? You are to... a pawn. I didn't consider that. Um, is that something to put into the thing? The typey type? Just you are a pawn. <laughs> Give it a shot. Where are you putting that? Into the light bulb, Hanover. You put that onto the keypad that says Hanover. You hear a happy beep, and mm-hmm. the cover pops yeah. open. Yeah, we can turn the lights off. Turn them off. I... It would be nice to do that yeah. if you knew which switch did what. Oh, Inside, okay, yeah. How many switches? Are you there? see six switches with labels on them, which I will send to you now. I did not draw six. Okay. All right. Light switches. There are six switches. Again, for people at home, you can see this yourself. Uh, Oh my God. They are. They get rude. From left to right, labeled A flat, hated, mood, suction elector, tiling tiling ham, ham, and whores. And then just whores. So mean. Okay. So one of these, uh, okay, look, some of these are going to kill us, I gather. Like, just because hatred is an anagram of death and mood is an anagram of doom, I'm not crazy about some of these. You really don't want to flip a switch that spells your doom or causes your death. Not so much. Okay, so which of these are good? Whereas, that's good that you meant this because I went mood. Oh, mood lighting. That's a phrase. That'll be it. (laughs) Whereas suction elect has a lot of the letters of electric in there, but electric what? I'm not sure well, by okay, staring let's, at let's it. Look. So we know that hated is death, mood is doom. What would A flat be? Maybe that's just the mood music. I have no idea what that could rearrange to. No, I'm not seeing that Tough right now. Floor. I know that some anagrams just don't hit you, but that one is not hitting me. Suction elector. I'm going to write it out. Suction elector. Shower is the last one. Ah, oh, uh, shower. Shower. No, it's not. Is it not? Shower. What? What? Oh, no, How shower. do you spell Sorry. that differently? <laughs> Sorry, I don't. <laughs> All right, and so suction elector is e. So if we want electric, mm. e c t r i c, we are left with s u t o n o. Electric snow out. What about tiling ham, do you think? Uh, uh, night mail. That's all I got so far. Night Liam. Light makes sense. L I G H T. Hame. Main light. Main light. That Main sounds light. Good. That sounds like one we want. Yeah, so we will flick that, but what does suction elector be? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else is there? Toilet? You can make the letters of toilet in there. Oh. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what A flat or suction elector is. We've... Well, we found main light. Yeah, okay, we'll just move on. Main we light. We'll look at that and we'll discuss it later. We turn off main light. <laughs> you turn off the main light, the main light turns off. Get on our step ladder. We undo, we take the bulb out, we crush it underfoot, and we replace it with a UV bulb. <laughs> You climb up the stepladder, you go to take out the um, light bulb from the main light that is now off, and ouch! You get a little shock as you go to reach for it. Hmm. You know from your vague knowledge of electric stuff that there's always a hot wire and a not hot wire when things are wired up, and you're supposed to have the hot wire be before the light switch so that it's not live, but Jimmy must have wired this one backwards. Unless you can find some way to insulate yourself from the direct current or the direct contact with the electricity on top of a metal ladder on a metal floor, you're not going to be able to safely change that light over. We put the bath mat down. You put your bath mat down. Where are you putting this bath mat down? Under the ladder or maybe under us? I would be putting that. uh, I was going to put that under the ladder and uh, shreds of towel under our feet. Done. 
you put the bath mat under the ladder, and you do notice now, it does seem to be fairly rubbery. <laughs> and for the heck of it, you put some of your salt-soaked towel shreds under your feet on top of the ladder, and now you're able to change out the bowl. You take the old one out, and you put the UV one in. All right. Now we Head turn back main down light the ladder, on. turn main light back on, and see what we see. You turn the main light back on, and you look around the room. You notice a faint glow coming from the back of the door, but it's too faint to really make out what it says. So if we search every single thing in the room, the only UV is on the back of the door, but it's too dim for us to get there, or for us to make out any detail. I also turn off the shower light switch. Yeah, we turn off the shower light. You turn off the shower light, and without the extra light from that, you now can make out what's on the back there of the door, which I will send to you now. Last thing, last thing. Almost there. Feel it. Whoa. All right. Danny, would you like to read this creepy oh, message boy. for everybody at home? One Alex removed, one ingrate killed, one baddie dead. Okay. All right. And you are the key. Mm-hmm. I know that for most of these images, right, it looks like um, Das has gone through, made them themselves. For real. And then taken a photo of it. Yeah. But this one looks like you've hired a skywriter to write <laughs> them and then taken a photo of that. <laughs> It was really difficult with the small little invisible ink UV lights that I have. Oh, man. To be getting those to work and be able to take a picture at the same time. Oh, Ridiculous. <laughs> Should have just hired a Skyrider. All right. <laughs> One Alex removed. More than anything, this is giving me like cryptic crossword vibes. Mm. One with Alex removed. Mm. Ah, so he's not. Okay, cryptic crossword vibes. It's not. Alex, it's a Lex. So we take the word Luther, oh. which, is an, which is a Lex, or Friedman, that's another Lex, and we remove that from a word for one. Yeah, and the next one is one in great killed. One in great. Probably just a bug or something. That's okay. Only bugs live in greats. And then one bad die dead. Um, one of the dice is loaded. That's it. You're the key. DWLDM. Do you think that relates to what we're doing now? One Alex removed? I mean, Alex, if, if Alex is the key, no, and one certain. Alex is removed. Or is this a fully salt-contained, solvable thing on the back of the mirror? Mm. Earlier, when you were lost, it helped to reread the letter. Oh, Couldn't dear. hurt again. Hello, Alex. You're the key. Oh, it says it right there. Um, hello, Alex. <laughs> As a, shall we say, wise person once told me, unlawful restraint is only a crime if you don't provide the victim a means of escape. Promise it is possible to escape this room with your life, despite the odds being slanted against you. Have we used that yet? You have not used that in any way in this room so far. Should you make it out of here alive, which I hope you don't, hmm. maybe I can set up a meeting between you and my good pal, Jimmy Ragoletto. There was something about a stubborn rooster you could aid him in retrieving, and we think that this was both the red letter code and also a hint about linking the chicken to first aid. I don't think there's anything new in there. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that rising water is salt water. If it hits the electrical outlet, you're toast. If you value your life, which you shouldn't, that's probably be your highest priority at the moment. Mm. I don't see a hint in there other than talking about the water. While I don't suggest you double your efforts, you may wish to as the game is a foot. We use that already to we solve the definitely her, used foot. The foot code. Foot double. And then sincerely, your former captive turned captor. P.S. Don't be married to the idea of a good drink after this. You are banned from Jimmy's bars for life. Ah, and I thought we were going to use that, that because of bar, but because of banned, but we didn't. A, 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 a relevant puzzle. So Interesting. Maybe that's what. We're Did using you now. use that? No, we didn't. No. That kind of got Danny to be thinking about wedding rings. It did. And you got a red herring out of that. Yes. Yeah. So where are there paragraphs in here that you haven't gotten a standalone clue out of? It really feels like the first one, and potentially your former captive turned captor. And yeah, I suppose the electrical outlet one was only, we had got some of the red letters out of that, but we didn't necessarily get a, a, a different hint. clue out of that. I always forgot to mention that rising water is salt water. If it hits the electrical outlet, you're toast. You're toast. Not Alex. You're toast. 
So if you're the key, toast is the key. Does, does that help? I don't imagine it does. <laughs> T O A S T. It doesn't say toast. It doesn't say toast. <laughs> toast is not the key. Is toast not the key? No, oh, man. How is toast the key? Do we know our cipher types, or do we need a hint on Very that? Very little. Oh, no, if you uh, do not know any cipher types. <laughs> oh, okay. If you want me to just give you the name of the cipher, I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh, Visionaire cipher. Ooh, never no, heard never of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We do not know any ciphers off the top of our head. <laughs> do you know Caesar ciphers? Yeah. yeah. Caesar's rotational, isn't it? Yes, and Visionaire Cipher, which I might be mispronouncing this horribly, but um, it's basically Caesar Ciphers, where it has a uh, repetition of different ciphers based on the length of the key. So every first position will have one cipher, every second position will have another cipher, every third position will have another cipher, all based on the key. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, thank you for hinting that, because that was literally... Never ever gonna get there. Yes, yeah, so it, oh, okay. it's just it's a thing that we just have. Well, I think it's so one much. of those things. Yeah, ciphers like they're designed not to be cracked unless you know them, <laughs> and so if you don't know them, they're very very hard to crack. Okay, uh, so now if we if we use the word toast to figure stuff out, um, first things first, which direction do we go? Oh, and just to make sure we're clear on this for these kinds of ciphers, A would mean a shift of zero. Oh wait, now I'm now I'm doubly confused. So A doesn't go to L. A means you don't shift L. Yes. So the okay, yeah, okay. yeah, no. There was no chance I was ever going to work this out. Like, like if you don't already know what that is, can you imagine being like, what if toast was the word, even though the letters don't line up, and also the letter isn't relevant, but if you you make the letter a numeral, it represents how many times you should rotate a different letter. Like, there's no way you're going to get that unless you've known it before. That's the thing you've got to learn, or spend like. A long time with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch in the Enigma Machine cracking it. I'm still trying to write stuff out <laughs> and struggling here. I still don't fully here. understand it. So does that mean that the first letter of a five-letter section should be rotated alphabetically in a Caesar cycle with a rotation of 20? Uh, T would mean uh, you only go 19 letters off. Was... Oh. Wait, right, T is, a is a zero. Is zero. Right? Exactly. Yeah. A is zero. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. No, Hold that's... on, we can get this. The funny thing is, the second to last play tester that I did got that that was a visionary cipher instantly. So I figured, ah, Bill and Danny won't struggle with this at all. Yeah, but I'm assuming he knew what a visionary cipher was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, just attempting this. So I've got a D on this first line. So I'm going D and then plus 19 letters. Is that what? We're thinking right now. I guess so. Okay, that would uh, take it. Minus 19. Yeah, uh, that would be the other way to check it. Okay, so in other words, minus 7. Oh, sure. which feels... Hold on. Okay, Where's wait. the minus 7? That's the, o- that's the opposite 19. of plus 19. But we're not doing plus 19. We're doing minus 19. We're saying something oh, we had God, 19 right. added okay. to it to get Sorry. to this day. You're right. So I should have been doing plus 7. Yeah, that works right? too. Yes. Cool. Okay. I know the 11th letter of the alphabet. Oh, no, I'm back to K again. <laughs> not Ketsk. <laughs> I'm not going back to Ketsk. <laughs> okay, so O. Which not, is the... That's 14 now. So, 14 so I've got a minus 14. From okay, I'm going to do that. W is the 23rd letter. So we want the 9th letter, which is I. K-I. A doesn't change. A doesn't change, so it's L. Okay, and so then the next one, S, was only plus 18, but it's a D again, so this should only be a little bit different. Yeah. This should be one One further. after. Uh, okay, yeah. Which so is L. L again. Kill. Lovely. And then M, but it's a T again, so it's that a plus is... plus seven to it, which is T. T? K-I-L-L-T? Yeah. So far, you're correct. Okay, well, let's keep going. Then, so now we're back to the first row again, so it's yep. another... It's an A, which is 19... H. All right, then S is the O. Minusing 14. Uh, S is the 19th letter, so E. Makes sense so far. Kill the... Okay, then this then P, the P is a changes P. the same. And then the D... P changes the same, yeah. Uh, we've got another the... D again, that's an L again. Another L, and then the T... Which gets teed. The T gets teed. So plus seven to a T. Now that's a bit of a pain. Uh, it'll be an A if we're minusing 19. 
Okay. G, and then G plus which gets seven, teed. will be N. And then H. Ah, I think that's going to be a T in the end, I'm assuming. Um, plus 12, H is 8. Yeah, kill the plant. Kill the plant. We take the orchid and we cut it up with those scissors. I mean, the scissors aren't quite strong enough to cut through whatever this thing is made out of, but it feels reasonably fragile. Is there something else you could do with it? Smash it. Smash Just it. chuck it. You smash the plant, the poor thing shatters to bits, and inside you find a little note, which I will send to you now. I hope having another thing to throw helps with your anger management issues, even if killing a flake, fake plant is less satisfying than killing one of Hoover's plants. Your loving twin, Carlo Gambino. Oh man, more characters. Can we find Carlo Gambino on that birthday calendar? You can, in fact, find Carlo Gambino on the birthday calendar, and his birthday is on the 24th of August. 24th August. So now we have Jimmy's birthday. Mm -hmm. We still don't have the code to multiply it by. Oh, no, really? What else are we... What, are, oh, what else is there to look we at? We still haven't looked at the... We have done nothing with the one Oh, you're right, of course. I forgot about that. Does the letter have anything else to help us? We haven't still been used. We, ha we still one. haven't used odds being slanted against. No. You. Can I look at stuff? See if there's anything of the last ones that we don't think were fully used. You're looking at the old letters. I was. Yeah. Well, I was looking at. Honestly, no. I was looking at diagonal letters starting from the start. Oh, one, ne, eb, and I just looked at the first letters of each uh, chunk. So one, and but how do you keep going after that? Start with the word removed. One and red? I don't know what that means, but it says one and red. One and red. Is that how Jimmy says 100? One and red. Do we need to look at red stuff again? Well, there was red herring. There were, f yeah. there were a certain number of red pills in that bottle. Yeah, that's true. How, I, there were five pills in the bottle? I, can't, I don't oh, yeah. How many red? Five there. maroon pills. So Do we need it, to count a lot of red stuff? Is it every red thing that has existed in the room? Well, that would seem like a lot of work. That's a lot. It would seem like a lot of work. Maybe it was just the pills. So maybe it's just one and five? Is one and five six or is it... I would say six. Okay. So it's six. So it's two, four, oh, eight, one, nine, oh, two, times six. We can work with that. I got one, four, 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 nine, one, four, one, two. When doing it like that. You put that in and uh, you hear a happy beep. Oh. Sounds like the door is unlocked and you give it a tug. It pulls open. You step out and breathe a sigh of relief. You survived. You're pretty sure Alex won't. <laughs> anyway, time to find a landline. Those are still a thing, right? The room needs to be reset for Alex. You'll tell Jimmy you wanted to test it for yourself. After all, to know how superior you are compared to your tormentor. You have a plan for after the reset. You're going to sabotage the room to assure Alex won't make it. Something subtle. What do you do? Um, get rid of the note from Jimmy that hints every single thing. <laughs> Jimmy comes, gets things in order, and leaves. You sneak back in. Take the note from the calendar. Oh, yeah, what well, we use now, those Alex. scissors. I don't get rid of all of it. I like keeping the first paragraph. I think that that's <laughs> enough to give all him right. an idea of what he's doing here. But the rest of you it goes. Cut off the rest of the letter after the first paragraph. Uh. <laughs> so Alex will never know what year Jimmy was born in. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe you will go see a therapist when all this is over. But first, it's time to go on a date with Alex. <laughs> Congratulations! You've solved the room and are ready to commit premeditated homicide. Woohoo! Hooray! The best kind of homicide! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to Escape This Podcast. Don't forget to tune in next week for Podcast This Escape, where we debrief with our guest and discuss the escape room that we just escaped from. 